North on the brink of collapse, Governor Sani raises alarm. Of course now, for those who do not know, those that do not have been pushing for protests. They have been going out to protest even before the so-called August 1st protest. The news in detail. The governor of Kaduna State, Uba Sani, has expressed concern over the rising cases of out-of-school children, poverty, and other socio-economic problems in the north, stating that in the region that the region was on the brink of collapse if the leaders do not come together to find solution to the challenges. Sani raised the alarm during a courtesy visit of the National Chairman of Ira Consultative Forum, ACF, Maman Osman, to Kaduna State. He said, and I quote, this new, executive mem this new executive committee has emerged at a time of great challenges. We are confronted with difficult developmental and security questions. Criminal elements have been laying siege to communities in the north and reversing our progress on multiple fronts. Our development deficits are scary and require urgent attention. In 2022, the federal government of Nigeria, through the National Bureau of Statistics, launched its most extensive measure of multidimensional poverty. The survey revealed that 63% of persons living within Nigeria, that is about 143 million people, are multidimensionally poor. 65% of the poor, that is 86 million people, live in the north, while 35% Nearly 47 million people live in the South. The North is not faring any better in the area of education. The United Nations Children Fund UNICEF puts the number of out-of-school children in Nigeria at 18.3 million. Of these outrageous number out-of-school children, about 70% are in the North of Nigeria. This is quite disturbing and must worry all of us who still care for the North and Nigeria in general. As I mentioned, insecurity in the north has retarded development in the critical sectors. A lot of farmers cannot assess their farms. Food insecurity now confronts us directly. Child and maternal mortality are on the increase. Our infrastructure has decayed. The most to address our infrastructure deficits are equally threatened by insecurity. For the north, we need to move decisively to change these negative development indices. Unfortunately, what we see in the North is promotion of toxic qualities, opposition for opposition's sake, and pulling down syndrome. We indulge in endless blame games, devoid of attempt at soul searching for introspection. We have failed to ask ourselves some vital questions. Where did the rain set a beat in the North? Who are those complacent in the underdevelopment of the North? What have we done individually and collectively to find solution to the challenges facing the North? We must take a hard look at ourselves, tell ourselves some home truths, and move together to fashion a common strategy to address our developmental challenges and confront the criminals making life unbearable for our people. The IRA Consultative Forum has a major role to play in building this required consensus for the best approach to tackle the multifaceted challenges facing northern Nigeria. ACF must make effort to refocus the attention of our people. Let us em de-emphasize politics and focus on development. Let us gear our effort towards overcoming the threat with all the energy we can muster. Now, this is what I am going to say. This is what I'm going to say. This is coming from them, them or the so-called allies. I don't know what you want them to do. If you are saying this thing out, what do you want to do about it? They say, if you do not see any good person around you, be the good person. The Northern people, they are always crying foul. And if you hear the allocation that goes to these Northern people, <laughs> the people, the same people that come out to cry, eh, the North is this, they are out of school children, kiniko, kiniko. If you hear the allocation where they go, they're not either higher than the one where they hit the south. Make with they tell ourselves the truth. And then you are coming to shout. Nobody Tunubu gets hand for that one. Make I go tell you now. We will be holding Tunubu responsible for policies. But when it comes to the people we're supposed to do well, it is your governors. That is why I keep telling us, in as much as I hold Tunubu for some things, 
some things that happen will go back and hold our state people responsible. Now then be the devil we will see. Now then, we we'll hold our states, we we'll hold our local government, we we'll hold our councillors responsible. We we'll hold our House of Representatives and National Assembly members responsible because those people they contribute. So as he is saying it, I don't understand. Not be everything that he is the governor of uh, Kaduna State. So as he is saying, what do you want them to do? If you are complaining, are you complaining to your fellow Goda governors? Because it is not left for you to hold a meeting. It is not left for you to look for if it is your mind. If you are people oriented, you really want to help people. It is not time for you to reach out to other governors and see people who are on your side. Who wants development for their people? And start doing something about it. Not be at this nice way they make oh, Not be formats. Yes, that's the truth. Federal government cannot leave federal affairs and start facing. That is why they put you there. The same way I will say that you're not going to be the CEO of Nigeria. The same way every governor is the CEO in the state. The people are the board members of their state. It is when everybody wake up to this realization that Nigeria will start getting better. So you coming out and say, and this and follow your people talk. We don't need this. This thing is not follow them. Follow your fellow governor's talk. Make an assess now. Go use do the north. Make it better. Stop the brainwash going on in the north. Stop it. Stop it because the day, the judgment day is coming for northern people. Most especially for religious leaders and traditional leaders that have been brainwashing the people for so long. You see this economy, uh, technology age will be. As people, they advance in technology. It will hit the north so hard. And the truth is going to be open. And I bet you guys, I bet you, these people are not going to take it sitting down. When they find out that whatever lies people have told them is holding them down. Now, we go here, we go there, they hear the matter for, for South. Or for if people, they, they outside the country, we go there, they hear this cause. My own is stop the talk and talk and walk the talk. That is what I'm saying. You are coming out to tell us these things. What should we do with this piece of information? Huh? Hmm. If Nigerians come out from ethnicity, ideology, tribalistic mind, and religion bigotry and start working upon secularism government, Nigerians be united. They might go choose a young standard intelligent to handle their country in shape satisfaction to everyone. I don't get what you're saying though. Mr. Man, make schools free and compulsory, then free school feeding program can follow and stop complaining as if your state's allocation is my I don't understand. He, now him, the thing there for your hand. He did your hand now. Even if other governors tell you, say, they're not really interested. He did your hands to make Kaduna State stand out. If we can have one person, one good person doing something right in their state, others is going to follow suit. All right, so on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning into listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.